Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. Thing to do, Jake. You know that, don't you? You ain't the fun-loving professor I used to know. We could wait till tonight. I ain't good at waiting. Davy, you hear, Jake? Well, I'll see you Sunday, Micah. Maybe we'll try our luck hunting up around Dutchman's Creek, huh? That reminds me, Hattie, those cartridges I ordered come in yet? Well, take a look in the back room, Micah. The box will have your name on it. Let's get moving, son, before you eat yourself sick. You know, I put that candy there to build goodwill. Surprising how much more castor oil I've been selling lately. Take some more, Mark, uh -uh, just to Hattie. tide you over. That's enough. Come on, boy. Well, see you next week, boy. All right, Hattie. Back up, mister. Rest you and bend and stay where you are. Sure you're not making a mistake? The bank's down the street. It ain't no mistake, mister. I got good reason for what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna do it. Look what I found. I got me a marshal. He's done real fine, kid. Real fine. <laughs> For once, I'm going to have the law on my side. You own a store, ma'am? Oh, do you? I got use for you, too. Everybody else. Out. Hold it. I'm Jake Pardee. Reckon you heard of me. Break your heart if I said I didn't. <laughs> I just know you was lying through your teeth. Take more than five years in the state pen to make folks forget what I left them to remember. Times change. I ain't changed. I can still treat a town as easy as picking my teeth. I'm doing it. You don't have to impress me. Well, now, you're mighty high-headed, mister. Maybe you ain't got enough sense to be scared. That it? Maybe. There's something I want you to tell around, mister. We're here to get food, ammunition, supplies. I'm holding the marshal and the woman. If anyone in this town gives us trouble, them two as good as dead. Now, when I'm ready to leave, we'll take them with us. You stay off our trail. When I decide it's fitting, I'll let them loose. Now get out. You're holding all the cars, mister. Don't overplay them. You know why? Without them, you wouldn't be much. I care nothing about him, Jake. Nobody talks to me like that. Nobody. What are you gonna do, Paul? It's what North Fork's gonna do, son. R.D. set himself up against the whole town. Skunk in the moonlight. Maybe he doesn't know that uh, somebody wrote a ballad about you once, Jake. He just got a rifle out of the buckboard, and everybody's following him down the street. What was this? 
whole flamboyant gesture supposed to prove, anyway? We shook off one posse after we broke you out of jail. Now you've deliberately set a whole town on our back. Jake knows what he's doing. Please, spare me this fraternal idolatry. But it may cost me my hide. I... We could have waited till dark, when the store was closed. We could have been on our way without stirring up a hornet's nest. But no! You! What's his name? Who? <clears throat> Who? The big fella. Will you forget about him, Jake? Who is he? McCain. Lucas McCain. Was he something special? What's he do? He's just a rancher. Pretty upshot for just a rancher. Something wrong, kid? What's the matter? Him. I'm trying to remember. I remember now. Him and that rifle. He's got a rep, Jake. I've been hearing about him clear down to Denver. Is that right? I'm supposed to be faster with it than any man with a six gun. A lion among the sheep. Let's load up and get going, huh, Jake? <laughs> Why? What's your hurry, Davy? Oh, no. You stock like a man, I'd be obliged if you broke open a bottle. Oh, I'll take it easy, Jake. You know how you are when you get licked up. And if it's not too much trouble, we can stand some hot grub, too. Don't be a fool, Jake. Whatever food we need, we can take with us. Sure, that's right. Jake, we need you. Your daring, your nerve. We weren't any good without you. But I'm not going to risk my life to satisfy any of your harebrained whims. Nope. You sure ain't the fun-loving professor I used to know. What do you hope to gain by all this? Listen, I'm doing things my way, the old way. I'm sick of being pushed into doing what goes against my grain. Five years sick. Five years, a, a man can forget who he is. After a while, he starts to wonder if he's the same man at all. Now, that's something I got to find out. Then I guess we're all agreed that it's only logical for Lucas McCain to take over for the marshal. Well, folks, aside from forming up a posse and hunting down Pardee, once we know Hattie and Mike are safe, there's nothing much anybody can do. But there must be. Then you name it, Mr. Welty. Well, I don't know exactly. I just know how I feel, that's all. This is my town, and I'm ashamed for it. Everybody knuckling down to three measly gun tubs. None of us are very happy about it, but I think we can survive the humiliation. We shouldn't have to. Mr. Welty, one wrong move and Hattie and Michael will be dead a long, long time. So we just do nothing? We sweat it out. Meet things as they come up. There's something you're overlooking, Lucas. Or maybe you don't know. What's that, Sweeney? Party held up a saloon I owned in Galveston. He was killed crazy even then, long before they jailed him for life. What makes you so sure that he's going to keep his word about Hattie and Micah? Well, I'm not sure. There's just no other choice. Any special instructions, Lucas? You know, John, I can't figure why Pardee's still hold up in that store. In fact, it doesn't figure at all. He's got something up his sleeve, you can bet. Well, anyway, it's a cinch nobody's going to get much sleep tonight if he's still here. Look, folks, give the store a wide berth. Don't anybody do anything to spook Pardee into using his gun. Just wait it out. Shake, shake, party. Someday you'll hang. Chase the bride and women till they felt his vicious breath. The fate he had in store for them was truly worse than death. Shake, shake, party. Someday you'll hang. Waiting's always the worst darn part of a battle. This darn waiting. Never miss a chance to wear your old uniform, do you, Mr. Hanabury? And when the waiting's over, things start popping fast. Real fast. <laughs> I'm 
taking you over to the hotel, son. I won't be much use to you there, Paul. Well, you're going to bed anyway. Come on. He went on a shooting binge. He leered down on his victims cause he liked to see them cringe. Jake, Jake, party. Someday you'll hang. One day in Peck and Paws saloon, he had too much to drink. The sheriff took him by his neck and threw him in the clink. Jake, Jake, party. Someday you'll hang. Jake, party was a highwayman. A price was on his head. In every town that he Must came be a to, big, fat reward on Jake Party. That mean anything to you? Jake Party. I never thought about it. What, you so well off money don't mean nothing to you? Someday huh? you'll hang. jail for five long years and planned and plotted well. He pistol whipped the sheriff when he opened up his cell. Jake, Jake Hardy, someday you'll hang. <laughs> You're a friend of that rifleman, aren't you, Marshal? Lucas. A couple of Jackford's hands are getting primed to bust in on Pardee and try for the reward. I hear you two boys got some local idea about collecting a reward. I think we're good enough. Well, forget it. Now, who are you giving orders to, mister? Look, if you were just gambling your own lives, I wouldn't care. But I'm thinking about Hattie Denton and the marshal. You ain't telling us what to do. Get that gun swing and sober him up, huh? OK, Luke. Jake took up where he left off a murderer and a thief. Oh, for the torment that he caused. Oh, for the tears and grief. Jake, Jake, party. Someday you'll hang. I took the horses around and back like you said I should, Jake. They're all great. You, you want I should do something? Sit down. I'm glad we're back together again, Davy boy. So am I, Jake. You know, maybe you got to be told what to do, but it always gets done. You got a big advantage over other men. You don't have to ham and haw about whether a thing is right or wrong, or if you can do it or not. That's a big advantage. You know, man, if I was to tell that boy to tear the marshal's tongue clear out of his head, he'd do it just like No need to fret, ma'am. I got plans for Mr. Marshall, but they'll just have to wait. Think you're purely the devil's own delight, don't you, Pardee? Your season's about over. What are you talking about? The five years you've been locked away could just as well have been 500. You know, soon there'll be stuffing men like you to put in the museums. Why don't you shut up? Underneath, they'll put up a sign. Western bad man, species extinct. So you better have your fun now. You don't have much longer. <laughs> the social historian. He's got you pegged as an anachronism. Oh, and something that's dead but refuses to be laid to rest.
still think I'm pretty good, don't you, Davy boy? You heard the piano down the street all night long. Why do you think folks made up a song about you? Because, because you're bigger than Sam Bass, and you're even bigger than Cole Younger. We wouldn't be any good without you, Jake. Them's just words, Davy boy. Just words. I need more than that. He can't escape his sorry end, no matter how he cries. He lived his life by violence, by violence he'll die. Jake, Jake, party, someday you'll hang. Need more than words. You think he shot him, Lucas? No, John. That'd be like Trump and his own ace. Still draw and cut the eyes out of a sneak. I got a lot less to lose by dying than McCain. He knows that. That gives me a big edge. What in heaven's name are you trying to prove by all this anyway? What I had to prove right from the start. That I'm still me. And nothing's changed. His eyes were cold as ice when he went on a shling bin. Cain! down on his victims Cause he liked to see them cringe Jake, Jake Hardy Someday you'll hang I'd like to talk to you, McCain. I'm listening. When it gets light, you and me, we're gonna have it out. Why? <laughs> because it suits my fancy. That's all? That's all. I'd like to see how good you are with that rifle. Now you be here. If you ain't, the marshal and the Denton woman are gonna be dead when you find them. I'll be looking for you. stand up to this madman. We can't ask a thing like that of anybody. It isn't a matter of what we expect or ask, Hamilton. Lucas knows that we're helpless. He knows what's at stake. I think he'll agree that this is something a man's got to make up his own mind about. Who else can we depend on? It isn't fair to leave this up to Lucas. I don't blame him, John. Well, I do. You've got a son to raise. A rich life ahead. There is a good reason why this should be my affair. All right, Lucas. I'd like to talk to Mark. Thanks, John. Hi. They're your friends, and they don't care what happens to you. Well, they're just being realistic, son. But you might get killed, Paul. How about Mike and Hattie, son? I know, but... But still, there must be some other way. No, Mark, there is no other way. Because of this. You know, son, it... It wouldn't go all Jake Pardee if I was the smartest lawyer or the biggest rancher or even the richest man hereabouts. But he can't stand to think that I might be as fast and deadly with this as he is with a six-gun. But you never shot anyone unless you had to. Never went looking for a fight. Well, Pardee's not one for splitting hairs, Mark. Look, I know how raw a deal this is for you, but I don't know what else to do about it. I guess it'll be this way till the land is settled and men don't look to their guns for survival. Mark, you know I don't want you to watch it, don't you? Yeah, I know, Paul. 
If anything happens, son, you can always trust John Hamilton. He's a good friend. I, I had to find out. I had to know. I, I was scared they did it. I felt it. They turned me yellow in that jail. You're alone now, boy. I gotta kill you. That's what Jake told me to do. I'll tell you what to do, son. Drop that gun. Go on, son, drop it. That's the boy. Drop the gun. Lucas boy. 